Hi, my name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works. And in this video, our seventh in our series, we're going to walk you through how do you create conditional web forms to direct you to certain pages and certain types of events. So stay tuned. So in this series, we walk through step-by-step -step how do you create a Power App portal in your environment. In this video, we're going to focus on how do we make our web form more conditional. So for example, right now our web form looks like this. Let me go back to our new application. Our web form looks like this where I ask it, uh, hey, what, uh, what kind of housing assistance do you need? And when I hit next, if you say yes here, what I want to happen is ask you what your preferred dorm is, for example. I, that may not be a real question or for a financial aid application, but we're going to use that as our guinea pig right now. So when I hit next, it'll ask for disclosure, but rather than have submit, it'll hit, you'll hit next. And if you said yes to, find, to the household, it will display a form there. If you had said no, it'll jump right to the end of, the, uh, end of this, which is the signature page. So our steps are going to be this. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and add a new column. So for, for um, uh, preferred house, a preferred uh, dorm room. All right. Our next step will be to add two new tabs to our form. This will be our, um, our dorm, ta dorm tab and our signature tab. Okay. Then we want to go through and we'll, we'll modify our, our web form and we'll add our conditions to that point. So those are our three steps we're going to do today. So let's make that happen now. So let's go first of all back to our solution we created in our first video, which is right here. We're going to go over to Pragmatic Works University and I'm going to start by going to the, the student aid application table and I'm going to add one more column here to this. So I'm going to hit add column and I'll call this just preferred. Uh, dorm. Okay, I know we're simplifying this quite a bit for this example, but we'll make it work, right? Let's make sure we save that table to make sure that column is now in place. Next, we'll go over to our forms and we're going to modify this portal web form. Okay, now keep in mind in the portal, in the, in the portal side, as we're creating these web forms, Every tab is going to represent a step in our process. So we want to create two new tabs. To do that, we'll hit the plus button and we'll look for a one column tab. I'm going to hit this twice, once, twice. There we go, we have two new tabs here. For our first tab, we'll select it and let's go ahead and rename that and we'll call this just a dorm selection, our dorm preference, I'll call it. And then I'll call this just dorm tab. Okay. And then in our next one, Let's go over to our last tab here. Let's call this one a uh, signature. And I'll put this signature tab. Okay. These tab names that you're seeing right here are going to come into play a little bit later in the Power Apps portal side, but we need to choose which tab we want to show. That's why I always call it something uh, more logical here. Next, you can go through and let's just drag over um, for the signature. Let's go to the ABC here. And let's look for our signature and just drag that over. For our section title here, you may want to put, hey, what are they signing right now? So we can put, uh, um, you know, I certify, certify that the below, that the information I submitted is valid, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um, okay, good enough. This is going to show up in the Power App portal and we, if you wanted to have more, what some people do is they'll add more sections in here and put these long, long labels that have the, the attestment that, uh, they're, that they're actually attesting to when they sign. Okay. Back under dorm preference, we'll go ahead and drag over our dorm preference, which is somewhere over here on the left. Oh, where'd it go? I prefer dorm. Fine. No problem. And then we can go ahead and, and we can choose to hide that or not. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and hide the section in this case. Oh, not hide section. Hide the label, excuse me, in this case. All right. So our second step is now done. We have two new tabs that will then light up in the Power Apps Portal configuration tool. So we'll save and publish this. And that takes us to our next step of how do we actually use this. 
So to use this, we'll go back to our portal management tool we've been using in the past videos, and we're gonna go back to our web form. We will select our web form right here, and web form steps. We're gonna create two new web form steps here, okay? Our first web form step we're going to create is for the, actually we'll create three new web form steps, excuse me. So let's go ahead and create the, um, uh, the first one first. The first one is going to be uh, the preferred dorm. So I'll call, call this uh, for preferred dorm. I'm calling it for on purpose here. You'll see why in a moment here. I, 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 you notice the other ones back here had one and two. You may be, well, Brian, where is, where is the re at? Three is gonna be our condition we're gonna do in a moment. So we're gonna create, we're kinda gonna create all the tabs first and then create our condition last. So I'll do new web form step again and I'll call this uh, four. This will be called uh, dorm selection. Again, it's gonna be load tab. We did this already in our third or second video we did this. Uh, our entity is gonna be called our same one we've been using which is called student. Okay, let me go scroll way down here. Should have picked a better name, huh? I thought it was called student. There it is, student aid application. All right, so we don't have a next step yet, so this is where we probably wanted to go start backwards here. Matter of fact, I will do that. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll make this a five dash signature just to make sure we start backwards here. So once, once you get here, there is no next step here. That's why I'm kind of starting backwards in this case. Uh, I'm gonna turn on, uh, empty pressions aren't really required here, but I'll turn them on, what the heck. And uh, on this one, it's gonna ask us what tab now. So when we go to form options, uh, sorry, form definition, excuse me. Uh, we're doing an insert here. And what form are we inserting into? We're inserting into this portal web form. What tab? We're inserting into the signature tab. Okay, so looks good. We, the source type, you could say, it's a, it's in the previous step if you wanted to. Results from the previous step. And the last step was actually gonna be our, oh, we haven't actually defined this yet, but our last step, we'll, we'll do our, our uh, uh, general info step, that's fine. So the general info step is fine. So take whatever ID we have from that, and pass it over here, in other words. All right, no worries at all, we'll hit save and close. Okay, looks good, we have our signature page done. Let's add two more now. Okay, let's add our fourth one now. This will be our dorm selection. Again, load tab again. This is gonna be, again, our student. <laughs> Go scroll way down here. Hopefully I won't pass it this time. This is where bad eyes really are, are terrible. And unfortunately, you can jump down a little bit, but you can't actually uh, search here. You have to kind of find it the old fashioned way. The next step in this case is gonna be our signature page. Uh, move previous is allowed. Uh, I'll turn on empty permissions, fine. Same thing under, under our form definition. It'll be our portal web form. Our tab is gonna be the financial, uh, the uh, uh, dorm preference. That'll be our tab here, dorm tab. And our last step is again, I'm gonna go ahead and say, take this from a previous step. The previous step being uh, the first step. Okay. Again, some of this stuff's not required, but I'm doing it just out of, out of habit in many cases here. Let's go ahead and save and close this. All right, so now we have one, two, and we're missing our third step. So for that last step here, you'll see, you can see along the way here, do we have all the steps to find? We do. Uh, our next step that we have to do is going to be our condition step. So in this case, rather than load form, we're gonna do a condition step. All right, so let's, let's test this now. This will be uh, dorm preference. Dorm needed. Okay, there we go. And this time, the logical entity is going to be again, this will be the same one, the student one again. There we go. Our next step, if, they, if, if the condition we're about to write is successful, is to go to the dorm step right there. So if they did choose to do that, then they're gonna, they're gonna get that, that table. If they did not choose to do that, they're going to receive the signature page. Okay, so we're gonna write some condition right here, and based on that, we're gonna guide them one way or the other. Okay, so now we have to find the exact column name that we used. So let's go back, and we're gonna kind of tinker with this a few times here. Let's go back and find the, the underlying column name behind this. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to my portal web form. Let me go back over here again, hit the back button to get back to my solution. 
and I'm in my student aid application, perfect, go to columns, and what I'm looking at is housing assistance. And you see it's called housing assistance, PW housing assistance is a yes, no column. So we'll see a few ways of making that happen. Let me go and remove my face here so you can see a little bit of this also uh, and, and get deeper into this. Okay, so with that now done, we're gonna go ahead and, and next step is to write our last, our last step to this, is actually to write the condition. So let's go ahead and do that conditional step now. All right, so let's go ahead and, oh, all right. Let's go back over to our condition right here. And I'm gonna paste in that column name because that's the column name we actually needed. And in this case, we wanna go ahead and specify um, uh, what is true. So this column, if this column is indeed true, then we wanna go ahead and, and, and go to the next step. So I'll say equals true. If it's false, it goes this way. If it's true, it goes the other way. Here's a little bit of references that you can use to kind of figure out how to do this, but this is a yes, no field. So the Boolean is gonna work fine in our case. Let's save and close this. And this is where it gets a little tricky. We'll hit save and close again. And uh, let's see if it worked. Because sometimes there's a few little things that are a little off here. Let's go ahead and refresh our browser. And let's, let's see what happens. All right, our next step here is let's open up the application. There we go. I'm gonna say, yes, I do want housing assistance. I'll hit next. Okay, it's creating the record right now. Let me get rid of my face again so you can see the whole screen here again. And after it creates the whole record, now we wanna go through and hit uh, next. Or hit, oh, I'm not seeing my application here for some reason. Ah, there's one step I met. I, I, I knew that would be the, the case here. In this, this, I was worried about that. And there's a few steps that I missed here, one step that I missed here in this case. First of all, one piece I forgot is I didn't do a next step for this. So back in my web form here, uh, I'm gonna go back to my web form and go back to my steps. Uh, and a few things I've done, I've done wrong here. The first thing I did wrong is under, um, under financial disclosures here, I need to specify that its next step is that condition, which is number three here, dorm needed. So I'll specify that. All right, so I'm going to save and close this and save this again. And let's see if that worked for us. There's one more mistake I think I made here also that I intentionally left in here. We'll see if it actually has an effect. All right, there we go. I Yes, I want a dorm, hit next. Now hopefully that submit button turns into a next button. There we go. I prefer a dorm, next. I certify, yada, yada, yada. All right, hit submit. All right, let's try it one more time without the dorm. Okay, so I'll hit, uh, no, I don't want dorm assistance. All right, hit next. This time I get right to the certification and hit submit again. All right, so we should hopefully now see the applications now out there. There we go. Wow, I've got a, quite a few applications now at this point. So you're just able to see that I've got uh, uh, quite a few of them already out there as I've, been, as I've been tinkering over time here. But this is our application we just created right here. Uh, it's a 32 application. So we're walking through how do we do this now and it looks pretty darn good. So we need some little bit of formatting and cleanup like that. A common question we get asked, it looks like uh, one of the things that bugs I thought I would have here, I was hoping that it had, but we, we probably wanna have these say, say uh, edit instead of insert. So we've already created the form. Uh, it's not causing a problem. So let's go, but we'll actually go over to form definition and change these to edit and I'll hit save and close. Oh, required fields, be fill, okay, source type is the, 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 uh, the previous step. And the previous step is general info, that's fine. Yeah, it's not really affecting us, but I, I, don't, I don't know why it's letting us do that, but we'll, we'll go ahead and be good citizens here. And I'm gonna change all these to edit. So I'm gonna go to form definition, change this to edit. And then I'll change a source type here to results from a previous step. And we already have that general info, okay. And then our last step was um, uh, for the edit was this guy right here. I was hoping to generate an error there. Go back to edit. And we'll change that to, again, uh, results from a previous step and general info. Okay, let's walk this one more time to make sure it's actually okay. All right, so right now we're on 32. And if we're successful, we should see 33. All right, so we'll say financial assistance, no. Oh, we'll do yes, what the heck. All right, upload. Here we go, and there we go. The last step you may want to do, notice I'm getting, I'm getting directed over to this step each time. 
Ideally, I want to be at loop back over and go to the listing of all the financial aid applications. So that'll be step six in our list here. Let's go ahead and create one more step here, new web form step. This will be six, redirect to list. Okay, this time it's not going to be a load form, it'll be a redirector, and we can redirect them anywhere we want. We don't really need a, a, an entity here, but we could point to it for being really funny here. Uh, there's no next steps, that's all good. We're going to redirect them though, and we're going to redirect them over to either external URL. In our case, we already have the URL here, it's called financial aid applications. Uh, we don't need to append anything, but you could append something into this, like the ID that we just inserted or those kind of things also. You can also append in query strings for your own website as well. Let's go ahead and save and close this. And let's make sure the signature page routes to, to step six. So we'll go ahead and select step five. We're going to go ahead and route you over to step six. Hit save and close. We'll then browse one more time and make sure that everything all ties together and, and it is all, all working here. All right, we'll then go over here, hit next, next, and next. All right, submit, excuse me. Now we should hopefully see financial aid applications. And we now should have a 38, I believe now. Oh, I can't remember how many we have now, but we, we now have a new one that was created just a few moments ago. So that is actually working beautifully. So it looks like we are, we are rocking and rolling. We can delete these records, so we can also edit them if you prefer. Uh, we have not turned on any edits though. We also could put a create button up here very, very easily as well. So to do that, just a, a brief uh, show of that, we can select, uh, we actually want to go back to the, uh, the web form and you would put a create, a, a web, uh, entity list, excuse me, in our entity list. Let me go back there, I'll do the easy way here. We'll go over to our pages and then to our uh, applications. And for that to work, we'll just select our application. We'll say, yes, I'm gonna allow you to create a record. And when you do that, I'm gonna direct you to a web page. The website, on a web page I'm gonna direct you to is new application. I'll click in the white area, hit browse. Again, that's one way of doing it. You also, by the way, could have just done this um, in, the, uh, in the actual portal management app like we've been doing. Now I have that create button though, and when I hit it, I get directed over to create an application. All right, so great, we've got this now working. We are now ready to go put some, uh, my grandma needs to say, we're gonna put a little foo-foo on this. We're gonna, we're gonna make this a little prettier now in our next video. So thanks for watching this. This is part of our series. So if you, if you like the series, make sure you go watch the old, the old videos as well. Make sure you do subscribe to us. And this is also part of our boot camp that we do. We're gonna get a lot more deep on this at pragmaticworks.com. And we have some on-demand learning around that as well. And we also do things like hackathons where we can do this with your data and teach you how to fish with your own data. All right, have a great day. And thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.